We're learning today that the UNSC has agreed to a Chinese request to remove sanctions on four ships the UN had blacklisted for ties to Pyongyang's arms trade. But as Park ji won explains, lifting the ban on those ships did not come without some major trust building between Washington and Beijing. The UN Security Council has lifted a ban on four ships that were blacklisted as part of sanctions against North Korea on Monday. They were among 31 vessels that were sanctioned for illicit activities tied to the reclusive state. But China requested the 15-member UN body remove the four ships from the list on grounds that they are not owned by Ocean Maritime Management, a sanctioned North Korean shipping company known to transport arms for Pyongyang. According to a report by Reuters, a U.S. official said that China also gave assurances the ships would not employ North Korean crews in order to help them get off the UN blacklist. The four ships include the Jinteng, a cargo ship that was detained earlier this month by the Philippines. The South Korean government believes this move shows that the recent U.N. sanctions against Pyongyang are working as U.N. member states are taking proactive measures to follow through with sanctions resolution. Chinese ship owners reacted quickly by firmly pledging to fire all North Korean crew. And some member states have also voluntarily canceled registration of North Korean vessels. The South Korean government says the list of sanctioned ships could change again depending on the situation. In the meantime, it will continue to keep close consultations with the UN body and the U.S. government regarding the matter. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.